Whenever I hit the road to visit a distillery, I know two things are certain. One, just when I think I know everything there is to know about bourbon, I learn something new. And two, if I'm with my husband, Armand, it's going to be a great time. But we are deep in the country. Yes, yeah, not even right next to any other distillery. Right. I wonder why the generations ago they decided to set up all the way out here. I mean, it's beautiful. It is. If you're ready to join us on a typical distillery tour, think again. Today, we're traveling to Loretto, Kentucky, home of the legendary Maker's Mark, to participate in their private selection program, a once-in-a-lifetime experience of making your own bourbon. Only somehow, we got lucky enough to be doing this for the second time. Our last trip to Maker's Mark was magical, and the private selection we created won double gold at the 2019 San Francisco World Spirits Competition. It's a lot to live up to on round two, but I'm confident we got this. So what are you looking forward to? Drinking whiskey. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing all the improvements and all the updates that have happened at Maker's Mark since the last time we've been here. Yep, I love all of that and I love drinking good whiskey. <laughs> this is Samara Davis, bourbon expert, businesswoman, and overall badass. She's also my wife and the founder of the Black Bourbon Society. Together, we started a life surrounded by bourbon. Now, here comes the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this old fashioned. Our taste can be very different. You said it didn't have a long finish 30 seconds after tasting it. Can we taste mine now? <laughs> but our choices together make the perfect blend. This is our Barrel Select. It's been a few years since the last time we were at Maker's Mark. But the second we walked into the campus, time fades away. And it feels like it was just yesterday when we saw our old friend Rachel Ford, the senior manager of Maker's Mark Private Selection Program. Oh my goodness, it's been too long. Agreed, especially since we've been here together. Oh, I'm so excited to get to host you guys today. Awesome. Well, let's go. Let's, yeah, let's, go get, let's, let's get, awesome. get to it. What makes the private selection program at Maker's Mark revolutionary is that it allows you to customize the bourbon to your own flavor profile, starting with a cast strength Maker's Mark as the base. You can create your own barrel recipe by selecting from five toasted wood types. That barrel is then aged for an additional nine weeks to create a unique liquid tailored just for you. I feel powerful. <laughs> I must hold it together. <laughs> I must hold the world together. While our mom's busy trying to make me laugh, it's time to get serious. The biggest challenge of today will be combining my flavor profile and Armand's, which tends to be very different. While I like it hot and spicy, Armand usually goes for the sweeter and softer notes. It will take some compromising for sure. Cannot wait to see what you guys come up with today, a new recipe that we get to build together. Your last one, you know, several years ago, like we had a really great day. It was pretty <laughs> incredible. So setting the bar high. Okay, so no pressure here, Rachel. Oh, and if we didn't mention already, this new private selection is sort of an anniversary present. Not Samara's and mine, but Black Bourbon Society's. The whole goal for us with Black Bourbon Society has always been to advocate for diversity and inclusion in the spirits industry. And, you know, what better way for us to celebrate our partnership and our fifth year anniversary at Black Bourbon Society by picking another barrel. Maker's Mark has been a champion of our cause from the very beginning. It's significant that we are doing this five-year anniversary celebration with you guys who have been a, a tremendous support and partner as we've gone on this journey. This place is steeped in a deep and rich history, passing hands from generation to generation through the Samuels family since 1953. From Bill Sr., who burned the family's 170-year-old bourbon recipe and created a new one, to his grandson Rob, 
who we were fortunate enough to catch up with while we were here. Hey, Rob. Hi. Welcome back. So good to see you. Good to see you. This is just a beautiful, yeah. beautiful place. We always wonder, like, how did your family decide that this is where they wanted to make their home and this is what they wanted to do here? My grandparents chose this site because of the water source. And there is a pipe that goes directly from our 14-acre spring-fed lake into the basement of the distillery. We have not only direct ownership of the water source, but we own all of the watershed. The riverbeds and creeks in these parts are rich with limestone, which helps to filter out iron and other impurities in the water. As a result, it has a pure, clean taste and is perfect for the fermentation process. My grandparents broke from tradition and decided to chase their dream and vision, which was to reimagine what bourbon could be. They didn't want to use rye. They had associated rye as the traditional flavoring grain. Yes, rye has spice, but it's also a little abrasive. Could they create a soft, rich, full flavored, and balanced bourbon? So they had baked loaves of bread, experimenting with different potential flavoring grain, and decided to use soft red winter wheat. And my grandmother, Margie Samuels, she was the one who had the vision, because not only to many was she credited with inventing bourbon tourism, and she designed every aspect of this distillery, of the entire property, but she also created the Maker's Mark name, designed the bottle, and the bottle that you would see being hand-dipped today looks exactly like the very first bottle. Margie hand-dipped the first bottles in her kitchen using a home fryer to melt the wax. They've certainly come a long way since then, as this distinctive bottle can be recognized anywhere. Now, the part that we've been waiting for. We're heading to the Lakeside Tasting Room where we're going to create our own private selection bourbon. This is what I've been looking forward to all day. This is our brand new Lakeside Tasting Room. So excited for you guys to get to check it out. And of course, we can't have a tour and time at the distillery without a tasting. So Ooh. I'm gonna introduce you to Jacqueline. Come inside. So here we are. All right, come on in. As we head through the doors, I feel like I've got a golden ticket heading into Willy Wonka's factory. That is, if Willy Wonka made bourbon. This is so beautiful. This is amazing. Look at this view. And there's our water source. That's where it's all coming from. Our lake, our watershed, complete control. Last but not least, Jacqueline Evans. Jacqueline Evans, a bourbon guru of sorts, runs the selections program's day-to-day -day operations. Welcome back. This Thank is you. wonderful. This is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's, it's all right. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get started with this tasting. Yeah, let's jump in. OK, Jacqueline breaks down the rules for us. We have five different types of wood to choose from, and we get to insert a total of 10 of these into our barrel which is then filled with cash junk maker's mark and finished in the cellar for an additional nine weeks. The flavor combinations are almost endless. When you hear me talk about staves today, that's what I'm gonna be referencing is these uh, planks of wood here. Each one of these are cooked uniquely and designed to amplify different flavor camps that mm -hmm. already exist in maker's mark. We have a sweet camp, um, we have a toasted camp, uh, ripe fruit notes, uh, dark rich camp, as well as our baking spice camp, like you're gonna bake a cake. So just as a refresher, because it's been a while since y'all been here, mm -hmm. um, we're gonna go through these saves one by one. Sounds okay. Good. And taste together. Cast Strength Maker's Mark is a beautiful thing, but in order to enhance the flavors and put our stamp on it, we first need a refresher on its tasting notes. I get tremendous vanilla mm -hmm. and soft wood notes. Yeah, I'm also picking up some oak notes on it, yeah. vanilla. Yeah. Now the fun begins. We start tasting five different glasses of cast strength Maker's Mark, each one finished with one of the five staves to highlight a different flavor. First up, the American Oak Stave, also known as the Baked American Pure 2 Stave, or P2 for short. You know, on the palate, I'm really getting like this great green apple, not like this crisp, mm. bright green apple. The thing that I think really distinguishes the P2 is that it manages to have crispness 
without having a bite. You do get that crisp brightness that it can bring to the barrel. Just one or two of these staves in the barrel can really bring that. Next up, the cuvee stave. It definitely uh, coats your tongue mm -hmm. um, and stays with you, like on, the, on your palate. Mm -hmm. It just has a ton of character. And I think that's part of the reason why in the first barrel, we had three of it. That texture, mm -hmm. it, it enhances all the other notes. Mm -hmm. And that was something that was important to us. Armand and I definitely agree there. More please. Next up, the OG, 46. 46. All right, here comes 46. And it, you know, if you separate these out and you think about these uh, five pure samples, 46 sits right in the middle for a couple of reasons. Mm -hmm. And one, it's the only one that was designed as a standalone product. So it's the most balanced out of the five. Uh, but number two, it inspired the entire program. When Bill Samuels Jr. created Makers 46 in 2010, he used 10 of these seared French oak staves now known as the Maker's 46 stave, to age the bourbon longer and give it a bolder character. It was the first new major expression at Maker's Mark since 1953. And his process is the whole reason we're here today. Oh my goodness. It's like a butterscotch, toffee. It smells chewy. It smells like you just want to drink and chew it. It definitely brings forward a lot of the vanilla and the caramel. Uh-huh. Is when you taste it, really pay attention to your palate. You're going to feel it kind of mid towards the back, and it finishes forward, which is something that's hard to do with whiskey. It's it just it's just a magical stay. Yeah. Right. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good thing? Did you like it? It was a good thing. <laughs> a really, really good thing. I can't wait to see what's up next. Now this next one, I'm All very right. excited about. <laughs> Mondiant is just a fancy French uh, word for a French dessert, which is basically a disc of chocolate um, that has some dried fruits and nuts. This is the newest stave to the private selection program, and we're happy to be the guinea pigs. Um, it is a very light, creamy, like frothy, like almost like a mocha. And it still has a little heat, like I'm heat feeling this like right here at the, mm -hmm. you know, in, in, the, in my throat. Definitely gonna need some of those stays for our barrel. Last but not least, the toasted French spice stave. This is where the baking spices live, like the nutmeg, the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All spice. All spice, like it's all right here. Now, Smart, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't that spice stave one of your favorites? I do love that stave. One or two of these in the barrel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know it's there. It's like a firework. It's like crack, boom, pow on the palate. Right. You know, we sometimes joke and call it the Batman stave because of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Well, I already know, in my head at least, what I want our next private selection to be, so. I'm confident that I'm going to be able to really pick this selection all on my own. What do you think? You got it all figured out, huh? <laughs> all joking aside, this is gonna be tough. So many different combinations to choose from. Let's get to it. Let's, let's get to mixing and tasting. Now it's time to play mad scientist as Armand and I start mixing the five expressions into a glass cylinder. If they taught chemistry how Maker's Mark sets this up, I would have aced chemistry in high school. We can use as much or as little as we want from each, as long as it represents the 10 staves we will add to our barrel. Ooh, that's gonna be good. So which one do we wanna start off with? We wanna start off with Armand since it's the number two glass here? Yes, save the best for last. Oh. <laughs> Very proud. <laughs> I'm getting a nice warm finish, not necessarily long. I'm getting this like um, milk chocolate note, definitely, almost like a candy bar. I almost want it to be a little more nuttier. Right. You said it didn't have a long finish 30 seconds after tasting it. Can we taste mine now? <laughs>
Let's see how this one matches up to yours. He knows it. Can we taste toast to mine too? Yes. yes. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. He didn't even know it. I was excited. Okay, I'll admit, it's pretty good. But for me, there's just a little something missing. So, in my perfect world, I would have the multiple layers mm -hmm. in, the, in the nose of my, with the mouthfeel, the body, and the finish of okay. yours. We knew this was going to be hard. Let the negotiations begin. So we both had two P2s. So you know, if we were going to go with the two cuvee, we'd have to go down to one P2. I think I'd be okay with it because to me, the P2 really is the nose, what you get on the nose. And right. I, I don't think that the nose will be dramatically affected. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. All right. So one P2, two, two cuvee, cuvee, 246. Three Mondial. And, and two, two Samara spice. spice. Sounds like a winner. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Let's see how this turns out. That's it. What a relief. I knew if we put our heads in our palace together, we could make something amazing. Together, <laughs> we're just better. We're going to win some more awards with this one. I hope you do. We have one last stop on our magical whiskey journey. The cellar, where our new private selection will live for the next nine weeks. We're meeting with Jane Bowie, the creator of this amazing program. She's coming into town, so she wanted hey. to come say hello. So good to see you guys. Good to, good to see, see you. you here at the distillery. Welcome back to Maker's Mark. How was the new barrel selection? It was amazing. Amazing. The tasting room, amazing. It's not too shabby, right? It's yeah. gorgeous. It's so fun being with you guys in this space because you were one of our early customers in the cellar. I mean, pre this building, we were still only making these products in winter and we decided to blow up this hill with dynamite, one of my favorite days of work, um, <laughs> <laughs> and build this limestone cellar where we could actually work with folks like you guys to make barrels all year long. Totally. Yeah, it's a tremendous addition to the maker's portfolio in terms of the flavor profile because it is still distinctly makers, but also very much has the character of right. whoever it is that's done the beer. Right, yeah. and no private selection that we've had tastes the same. I can't wait to see how the whiskey turns out and yeah. good luck. Okay. All right. Yay, All right. find a good home for it here. <laughs> see you in nine weeks. See, see you in nine, nine weeks. weeks. Welcome back. Yes, we're so excited. We finally did it. The wait's over. We ready to taste your bourbon? Yes, let's right do now. it. Most well, definitely. Let's do it. Okay. Moment of truth. <laughs> and what better place to try your brand new barrel than overlooking our lake? Um, so really excited. Yeah. Um, Samara, I feel like you should do the honors. This is our bottle. That's it. All right. Let's open it. Let's open it. All right, here we go. Hey. So ceremonious. <laughs> <laughs> and first pour. Cheers. Cheers to a great partnership and friendship with Maker Smart. So happy to be a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a worthy second edition. It is. It is. Oh my goodness, that Mondiance, Dave. It's so decadent. That creamy, yeah. it's this creamy milk chocolate that comes all the way through yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. This is exactly what we envisioned. This is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for this experience. Guys. It's, it's been amazing. Yeah.